Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to all my people around the world. This is Stop By, local, regional, and international woman abroad. Well, boy, I don't know what to say again. George Zimmerman, Sue family of Trayvon Martin, publisher, prosecutor for one million, one hundred million. Now, George Zimmerman is suing the family of Trayvon Martin, the publisher who published a book concerning, you know, things about the death surrounding Trayvon Martin and the prosecutor for a hundred million. So George Zimmerman, the neighborhood watch volunteer acquitted of homicide charge in the 2012 fatal shooting of an um, 17-year-old Trayvon Martin in Sanford is suing Martin families. He's suing the Martin family. He's suing the prosecutor and others involved in the case, he claimed. Nested or arrested on false evidence, according to a copy of the suit sent to the media Wednesday. Zimmerman or Zimmerman is represented by Larry Clayman, a high profile legal crusader tied to conservative causes and the founder of judicial or judicial judicial watch before splitting with the activist group that's the lawyer right he's a conservative and he was the founder or probably one of the founders, but it's a founder of the judicial watch right plus george Zimmerman versus coral gable mayor it's, it's like they canceled the movie screening they had a screening about george Zimmerman movie i don't know what kind of movie is that coming out but they canceled it because the, the people where they was keeping the screening at they said they didn't know all these other different things was tied to the the movie screening and they didn't really want to be partaking of that so the Pearl County Circuit Court, Sioux <clears throat> City, information in a documentary about the case titled The Trayvon Hoax. I guess that's the name of the, um, this, the, the movie they were screening. That accuses the Martin family of engineering the false testimony and the director has scheduled a press conference this week in Coral Gable to co- coincide with a film screening there. As news of the lawsuit became widely reported Wednesday, Wednesday, the theater rented for the screening, Coral Gables Art Cinema announced it was canceling the event. Coral Gable Art Cinema was not aware of all the details surrounding this event. The theater posted on Twitter, Right, the suit seek 100 million in civil damage, alleging defamation, abuse of civil process, and conspiracy. A copy of the suit was distributed to media Wednesday by the movie director Joe Gilbert. The case appears on the online docket of the Pulp Court system on Wednesday afternoon. The court papers say the suit was filed in Polk because Zimmerman lives there. It, state, it states all the defendants have worked in concert to deprive Zimmerman of his constitutional and other legal rights. The lead defender in the suit is Sabrina Fulton. Martin's mother, who became a national figure in the wake of her son's death, as a campaign surrogate for Hillary Clinton and a national advocate for social justice and pre just and reducing gun debt. Sorry about that. She's running for the District 1 seat on the Miami Dade County Commission, being vacated by a term limited Barbara 
Jordan in the Miami Gardens area. Fulton's campaign issued a statement from Pamela Goodman, president of Roots List, Florida, a political organization backing her commission campaign. It is both disgusting and, and shameful that George Zimmerman, that is Miss Goodman speaking, a man who killed an unarmed child and got away with it, is now suing Trayvon Martin's grieving parents, Goodman, Goodman said. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ben Crump, a lawyer who represented the Martin's family and is listed as a defendant as well, issued a statement Wednesday that said, in part, I have every confidence that this unfounded and reckless lawsuit will be revealed for what it is. Another failed attempt to defend the indefensible and a shameless attempt to profit off the lives and grief of others. That is what Mr. Ben Crumb says. Now, Martin lived with Fulton when a county employee in Miami Garden, then a county, sorry. Martin lived with Fulton, then a county employee in Miami Garden and was visiting his father, Tracy Martin, in Sanford on February 26, 2012, for those who don't know what the case is all about, when he died in a gated community where his father, Fiancé, lives. Martin was returning from his store with candy. Zimmerman a 28-year-old at that time reported it. Martin has suspicious to the police. We reported Martin as suspicious to the police in a recorded call after 7 p.m. The detail that follow remains in dispute, with Zimmerman claiming he was attacked by Martin and defended himself, which in Florida, they have stand your ground. So when somebody attacked you, and it looked most likely that you were being attacked. You shoot them, most likely you get away. Police and prosecutor describe an unjustified shooting of a teenager in a hoodie with skittles and a drink. A jury acquitted Zinnerman of all charges in 2013. So anyway, I ain't gonna go no further. Just let it, let's let's just put it like this. He's suing the family, the prosecutor, the the, the, the guy who published a book concerning the incident right and he say all these allegations that jump up against him and all these false you know what i mean prosecution as well as book publisher harper collins over the october release of crumps open season legalized genocide of color people right now that's a book someone wrote concerning the scene it says open season legalize genocide of color people so yes there we have it Zimmerman is suing the family okay tell me what you think about it comment in the comment box share like and comment and don't forget to subscribe Port, brother. Yeah.